Hello everybody, how you doing? Chapter 13, once again, I am back in my My Car Comes Alive in Millionaire World. But today what we're going to do is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Kind of excited that we're going to do it. We're making some Tinker's Construct Tools. In case you couldn't tell by the title. Anyway, so we're going to do that today. I don't know how long it's going to take. You know, we'll figure it out as it goes. And a couple updates though quickly. Well, first of all, I added... um. Iron chest mod, which I gotta put in, but iron chest mod. What it does is, if my computer will load, there we go. That's in certain, at least iron chests, which give you higher storage capacities. And I'll go a little bit more in depth of these once I um, build my house, because it'll be really useful for my house, because this one, like a diamond chest, and then, and then the um, chest and obsidian chest, all have the same amount of storage. And they have a, um, like 192 slots, so that's gonna be really useful for for me when I start storing stuff. Is they found in the past couple episodes, I have a serious storage problem. I actually had moved some of my stuff out here, but yeah. Anyway, I've also been mining up some trees off camera. You know, just getting ready to build a house, which I hope to do soon. And also, I figured out the trading mechanics because they I forgot this, but they overhauled the trading mechanics of 1.8 with villagers. And I'd never really done trading in 1.7.10, so I had to look at a video and actually, like, you know, I was complaining about how like these all these base trades suck. But I found out that these aren't base trades. It's like, in, what it is is in um, 1.8 is they add tiers to trades, where in 1.7 there are no tiers, and I didn't know that, so I all assumed that these guys had really bad base trades and it wasn't getting any better because that's normally what it is in 1.8. No, but no, 1.7 there is no tiers. So any, any trade can come in at any time, which I did not know. So it means that if you have time to end this episode, I'll start trading and getting some more tiers. Because again, I had no clue that this was a, um, there were no, no tiers to this, which is a nice update in 1.8. But since I didn't do trading in 1.7, I didn't know about it. Anyway, here we are with my smeltery. We got a lot of stuff smelted down, mainly focusing on the iron. Maybe we'll make, some, make some iron tankers construct tools. So now, you do have to go through the multi step process first. So the first thing you're going to need is a stencil table. So I go here, type in stencil table. Then, stencil table, here we go. All a stencil table simply is, is it's one of these blank patterns and a, an oak wood plank, which you make one of these stencils simply by just two sticks and two planks of wood. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Um, let me stack this wood. Take some of this, and we're gonna take um, a half of this, and make it into sticks because we need quite a few blank patterns for this episode. Oop, button, nice whoops, my bad. Um, so let's just make a half of these for now. No, you're not half. Come on, man. Oh, I'm using the wrong mouse. Whoops, my bad. Let me just switch my setup here. There we go. Now this should be easier. Ta-da. Okay. Wait, it gives you four blank patterns? Oops. Let's look. Let's go with half stack. Let's go. Yeah, we need half stack for this episode, I imagine. No, let's go. Let's just stick with them. Um, I don't mean to size. Let's stick with 28 for now. It's a good start. So why, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, just take one of these. And one of these. need to turn my mouse sensitivity as well. And you get one of these. Stencil table. Now with stencil table, the way it works is you take this. And any blank pattern, you'll get what you need. So like for certain things, you'll need a... Um, like what's this? This is a um, certain types of heads. So you get all your head patterns here. What you, what you do is you place one of these in here and you pull it out from whatever material you have implanted in there. So like a broad-headed axe or, or a large um, pattern chest and you take that out of there. And you'd use that as your um, different tool parts. So each tool has different tool parts and you'll find those out a little bit later as in like very shortly in the video. So then what you need is you need a part builder. Hence, we only the next step. 
So you got if you have your parts, you need your part builder. So part builder, you just come here, you hit part builder here, and you see it's almost the same exact thing except with with a um off, not a plank but a regular piece of wood. So take one of these, plop it in there, and now we have our part builder. Now your part builder, as you can see, the interface is you take one of those one of these patterns and what you do is you put it in here with the material that you want of course I can't put it in there because I need a craft something so it's I know I'm going to need the creeper head later in the episode yeah I'll need a creeper head later in the episode so I'll just take that up right now you put your pattern in here and now this allows you to build your parts so if I were to take a wood wood block I would shoot, what you do with non-metal parts now I will um I'm not going to be focusing on that because I got my smeltery over there that's completely different, but this is what you need if you're working with non-metal parts. Which again, a lot of stuff you can find in the wiki for in terms of part building and different material types. I kind of have a little printout copy here just to um, let me know what everything is, but you should definitely look up the wiki page for the, on the wiki page for different stuff you can make. So after that, what you're going to need, you need a tool station. Now what a tool station looks like is... There we go. Your tool station here, which is just one of these crafting stations and a blank pattern. Now this is actually how you construct your tools. So if I come here with my blank pattern, I should make a um, crafting table, then turn that into a crafting bench, then turn that into a tool station. Now tool station allows you to, as you can see, you got all the different tools now, so it'll tell you different parts that you need for your tools and it'll tell you all the different so this is what you find out what you need for each of the tools so your matter I can tell you what it is you get a you little hatchet and build different materials out of different you can, you can combine materials it's really interesting I definitely recommend reading the wiki so this basically gives you a base unit of all the um different items that there are but um you can also add modifiers to this tab here which I will again sh I'll show you shortly. Well, what you want to get for some of the higher tier tools, which is what I want to go ahead and make right away because I don't, I really have to look into stats for all these different types of stuff. Yeah, another tools I want to make are in here. Is you need a um, a tool forage. Now, tool forage, a bit more complex. Tool forage, as you can see here, is that you need a tool station. Of three seared bricks and two blocks of iron and I forgot I need seared bricks so I'm gonna go mine up some stuff because I don't have materials to make seared bricks so I'm gonna go mine up real quick and I'll be back as soon as I got all the materials alright guys I am back at my materials and so now what I'm gonna do real quickly is I am going to mine this tool station up because I don't want to make another one Come over to my little crafting bench I set up here, and you guys like that come across. And iron blocks on the side, which I had before for my smeltery. Again, for the convenience, how you get blocks from your smeltery and get a nice classic iron tool forage. Um, oh, by the way, any of this like oak wood planks or any of the stuff you see here, this doesn't change the effect. All it is is you just purely for decoration, all these different. Materials you can use for different colors. That's a nice last effect of mod adds, though. But anyway, so I come here, click on this, and now you can see I have these extra tools here. And you get these extra tier two tools here, these six tools that you can get. And so, now one thing I've been telling you guys I want to get really badly for the longest time is a hammer. As you can see, for a hammer, I need two of these little creeper heads, which is a large pattern plate. I need a hammerhead, I need a, is that a regular tool rod? I think it's a regular tool rod, let me check the, not you, you. Uh, is that, no, it's a tough tool rod, isn't it? Yes, it is, it's a tough tool rod. Yeah, so anyway, so now what I need to do is I need to chuck in some of these. And you only need one per, which is kind of nice, you only ever need one copy of each. So with a tough tool rod, come out with that, and then... I'm with a hammerhead. So then what you gotta do 
so after you get all your parts you know made from your central table is you want um you got to make chaos molds out of this what you got to do is become your depart builder you want to make a side of something really cheap so let's say for this see I have material cost eight we usually need eight pieces of whatever I'm going to use for my materials so normally what I do is I'd use that I'll find Danny and make that out of regular materials let's say I was to make a wooden one so I put in eight wood and then I need and I get my little head out here which I'm going to do this anyway because I'll explain in a minute uh, for metal what you do for metal is you need to actually make it from the smeltery but you need to make casts first in real life then you make a metal cast and you make casts of metal so in order to get casts what you need to do is you need to make one copy of each of these out of a, a material it can be any material but like usually a cheaper material is better because you're not wasting stuff so you want to take each, one of these pieces of each and what you're going to do is you're going to come here and make a cast you take this cheap material so I just use it made out of wood and th throw it down in these casting tables which is why you know you want to keep these and you want to get some of these if you don't have them so once you put them in the casting tables what you need to do is to make a cast it has to be either either aluminum brass or gold I do aluminum brass just because it's a lot cheaper and I actually made it in a previous episode that's really the only thing it's good for is for casting so you can come here and right click and it'll take the materials that you um, need and what you'll do is you'll get a um, a cast out right afterwards so you can come and click these out now you have a metal cast that should be noted the same amount of materials that you have for each of these so it's eight and five I believe you're gonna need the exact amount same of um molten iron but as you can see I have 127 ingots I'm pretty solid with the um, molten iron so I don't need to worry about that so just come here and right click it and then you'll get your I should have made all my casts first to be honest though yeah that was something I should have done I gotta go rearrange it but anyway as you can see it'll come dry up and now you'll get your heads and these are heads is what you what you really want because this, these are the parts you're going to be making your part builder so I don't need you you don't want you no nope, you stay you go and I'm do the same thing with my tough tool rod handle let's come throw this like this and are you done? yes you're done okay come make another cast over here cast you then what you want to do, you know, is you're probably going to want to make a chest with all your tool patterns in here. I'm just going to leave this crafting station for now because I don't want to deal with them. But you want to, you just want to find a nice safe chest. Do you want? I'm not going to be lazy. Let's make a chest. So that way you can just come here, and you know, whenever you want, you can come in and access these things. I'll make two chests. Oh, there's a pattern chest actually, which I'll make in a second, in a minute, and I'll show you how to. Do that, but that's really nice and simple and easy to use. But anyway, so after you have these these casts, you're probably going to want to keep these because these are good forever, and you don't want to waste materials. So then, I don't, I don't care what you do with the wooden parts. You can do after you made your casts. There's really no reason to um, keep them around, you know, except for like decoration, whatever. I was always keeping here just in case you know I lose those or whatever, but they don't have durability at all. These um these casts will be good forever, or as long as you decide to keep them in the world. But anyway, so now you see I have all my parts for a hammer, and now I'm gonna make the hammer. So just come click on the hammer and place one of each of these in here, and bam! I'm gonna name it. Hammer time. Come on, really? Give me all glitch in me. Hammer time. There we go. Let's get hammer time. And you can see it gives me all my stats. Attack damage, reinforced one, which comes with iron. And now something you want to do after this is... Well, first of all, I'm going to go to sleep, but then I'll be right with back with you guys as soon as I've... It's morning. I'm back everybody so anyway now now you have your hammer this, the only thing is you don't just have your hammer which I'll explain its functionality in a minute but you can't just enchant it like a normal tool instead you have to modify it over here in the modifier slot 
Now in the modifier slot, what you can do is you can see everything on here. And you got three modifiers as a base level. If you use, there's additional ways to get more modifiers. You can either use some paper parts, which makes it a lot weaker, but you know, you can get more modifier slots, so you can add dur more durability and kind of make it up, I guess. I really haven't played around with that. Or you can add certain things like another star is one thing you can add, it gives you an extra modifier slot. But anyway, I'll explain stuff later. Again, you can just go look it up on the wiki. And um, so basically, to take a modifier, you take anything like this ball of moss and just chuck it in here. And you see what moss does. And moss, what it does is it adds a slow regeneration to your tool, which is really nice. So you add auto repair. And now what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to um, add a whole bunch of modifiers to my iron tools because this is just kind of a base level tool. Yeah, 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 get out of here. You guys don't see that on screen, but I message anyway. So uh, I'm only going to add this because I'm using my hammer for strip mining a lot until I get my higher level tools. I want to see when you choose straight for level 5 tools because that would be nice, which you got to go to the nether for and mine stuff from the nether. So we'll be doing that soon. But anyway, that's all in future video. All you need to know for now is you can add modifiers. I'll see if I can throw a picture now of the modifier list. I took a screenshot from the wiki. So I'll throw that up for you guys. So you guys can see all the different modifiers you got. You can pause this video, whatever you want. But um, modifiers, so it acts just like enchanting. So instead of using levels, you use materials. And it's not random, which is really nice. I think I'm going to auto repair hammer. So now what a hammer does is really nice. Is it... Oh uh, god, my computer sucks. I gotta get a new one, but I'm not gonna be able to for a while. But anyway, hammer does it minus in a 3x3 area, making it ideal for strip mining. I can go over here to my little quarry, and you can see if I mine this middle block here, all nine blocks can be destroyed. Which is, I mean, that's just amazing right there. This is so useful for strip mining. You know, it's like, it's such a good tool. It's so, so functional. Makes everything, mining everything really quick and easy. And yeah, again, it's strip mining. But as you guys can watch carefully, you know, it also, um, being in the sun helps you get, um, repair faster. Let's look at my tool. This is going to slowly auto repair itself. How do I get info on that? I don't have the mod that gives me info, but anyway, if you pay attention enough, and I'll probably I'll stick around so you guys can see that this tool, it will become fully recharged by the time this video ends. My two other tools to make right away is the um over here is the excavator, which does the exact same thing, except for um except with um dirt and sand. So we replace so this is the supposed to thing, same thing as a shovel. And then um this lumber axe does the same thing with um trees. I'm not gonna get into that. And that's just the crops, but um anyway, I'm interested in the cleaver too. Now, uh, cleaver, as you can see, its special ability is beheading. So that means it's, it does high damage, but it's a slow swing weapon. But it um it has beheading, so I can go around and I can start getting mob heads from this thing really easily, which is nice. And when I take my trip to the Nether, I'm gonna bring this thing along because it gives me a, a higher probability of getting a um a wither skeleton skull. So I'm gonna go ahead, as you can see, you know, just more parts. I just gotta. Make this cleaver head over here, you know, for example. Yes, people are texting me on iMessage again. Don't worry about it. I'm not that popular. Just one friend bugging me about something. But anyways, I'm going to come here, you know, find your cleaver head. Make that one. The other thing I needed was this X thing for this shovel. But, you know, you can, you can make it the exact same way. You know, nothing really changes. I mean, you make once you know how to make one tool, which I showed you, you know how to make all the rest of the tools. It really isn't that big of a deal. You, and, you know, this is something you just figure out for trial and error. And the, the biggest thing, though, is just um, just knowing what materials to use that are the best for you to use. And um, come back, you hammer. And, um, and uh, figure out what materials to use and uh, how to combine stuff and then the modifiers. So this is why I love this mod, because there's so many useful tools, you know. It's just such a... It's just such a great mod. I can't like get over like how like amazing this mod is. And the Tinker's Construct definitely like it's 
It is one of, one of the highest like mods that people request all the time. So I definitely recommend. You know, if you you have the if you're considering it, I definitely recommend getting this mod. But what I'm gonna do right now, quickly, is I'm going to make these tools. I'm gonna kind of come back and show them off to you in a minute. So be right back. All right, guys, I'm back once again. I had to stay night again, but as you can see, first of all, my hammer is now fully repaired. I did not use. I don't repair it at all. Oh, by the way, to repair your tools, what you do is you'd come here to your modifier slot and then you just chuck this in here and you take, since this is an iron, it's whatever the head is. So the head here is an iron head. You put an iron ingot in here and it does it repair a little bit, kind of like an, like an anvil. Basically, it's the same concept. Anyway, now you see here, if I come over to the sand with my with my um, I should just should stay up nice so you guys could see my um, cleaver. Whoops! But I come with my excavator. You see, it does the same thing. Just give me that nice crisp. And then I work the sand. Actually, if I come here, my hammer. Oh, well, as you can see, it depends on the angle you're aiming too. So like, I should move my pickaxe so it's this nice kind of newity. But if you're aiming up with your with it, um, your hammer it will. Wow, this is legs intense. It will go um, sideways, which is nice and annoying at the same time. Anyway, now you see I just pull my hammer, not my hammer, my excavator, third. And it only works in the other block too, like if I would try to mine this block with the excavator, this can take longer and it's not going to do its full effect. It only works the material that it's um, designed for. And you see how it just like nice, crisp, and efficient that is. We just make this quarry a lot more effective. And of course, my, my head machine, as I call it, my cleaver. You see, it swings rather slow, but it will give me a beheading chance. There's a lot of damage too. But um, you know, maybe I'll go back and add some knock, add knock back to it or something, make it more effective. Let's just test it on these poor sheep. I think it does 10 a hit. I'm not exactly sure. So if I'm right, it should one shot the sheep. Yep. So a very powerful tool, better than a diamond sword. But again, it swings rather slow. So you gotta watch out. Well, you know, I'll stick around for the night, you guys, you know. Actually, wait, first of all, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sing out tonight and show you guys so you didn't get a head or anything. But you wanna do is you wanna get a pattern chest for all your patterns. So you see here I'm kinda of stuffed. And I did not need that many blank patterns, but anyway. So the pattern chest is here. You just make this with a chest and a blank pattern. So you if you something reoccurring theme here, you are correct. Blank pattern is used for a lot of this stuff. Come here and make a chest real quick. Check down with the blank pattern. And boom. You get yourself a little nice little pattern chest. And again, you know, same thing where you're if you use this right next to a um if you use a regular um this crafting bench next to um crafting station next to a chest, it'll give you the um little build up interface, same thing if you come here, at least in theory. If you come here, chuck all these along in here, and you come over to your, that was the wrong one. I meant to use, like, I meant to place these two next to each other. Oops. Now, in theory, if I place, that's a table you can go here and F off. If I place this part builder right here, I should, yes, I can access this chest from here, so I can just come and drag this directly in from here. Nice, okay. And... Alright, so that's nice and dandy. Again, you, you, you can leave stuff in here like these blank patterns if you want. You can just chuck all these in here and leave them in there. But I'm not going to do that because I don't trust my computer to not like lag out and taking that stuff away from me. But anyway, guys, so yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to wait till night falls. I'll show off my cleaver action a little bit. I'm back everyone, it is night time, and we're going to go kill some monsters because 
Why the heck not? Like this zombie right here. Oh god, there's a lot more things over here than originally I saw. But anyway, if we get ahead from one of these guys, they don't look stupid, so we get 10 damage, which is what I thought. But I can add looting on this if I wanted to. And I'd probably get, like, I should be heading. If I be heading where I need, I need, um... There's an orc over there, actually. Those guys can give us some pretty good loot. Anyway, if I be heading, you need a, um... Get it right now. I need a, an obsidian ender pearl, so I don't have any ender pearls. But hopefully, I can kill a enderman between now and the next video, so I can get some beheading on this thing. Ow! Gosh! And I can even get like a better chance. I'm probably not gonna get ahead right now. Let's see what kind of loot give me. It's pretty good. See, this guy gives a piece of obsidian, which isn't bad. Which I'm gonna get. Oh, there's an Enderman over there. This is gonna be awesome. There you go. See Creeper Head. Look at look at how easy that was. I got a Creeper Head now. I, I mean, that's just like that's just so easy. It's like why wouldn't you? But a werewolf. Really interesting. Wait, does this thing work? Because I don't know if they're compatible. If the mods aren't compatible, this may do 10 damage. Nope, only does one. Yeah, shit. Fucked. I'm fucked. Ow. Motherfucker. Guard! Unfortunately, good thing is it's not compatible with this one, so you can come here and just wreck shit. Actually, your dog will still do normal amount of dog damage, too. Just throw it, get him. Nice. Golden apple, baby. But yeah, so it still doesn't work with the, um, it's still compatible with the other stuff, so like, still is only going to do the one damage. Let's see if we get another head here. Zombie head and some chain mail leggings. You know that right there, my friends? It's a good day. Ooh, do you get two werewolves? Three werewolves? Holy shit. I get some serious loot from these guys if I get all of them to chase me. Okay, two is good enough, two is good enough. Oh shit. Guard. Don't don't die. Don't die. Holy oh, shit, you're getting gang, gang banged. But you're still doing amazing. Wow. Oh, oh, I'll take out the zombies. Oh shit, sorry. Ow. Don't hurt me. This is dangerous as shit. Woo! Nice, what do we got here? We got some some shit. Dude, that's nice. Holy crap. Look at these werewolves, holy crap. Come here, girl. Oh, you're gonna turn back, aren't you? You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Guards. Guards. Get him. Get him. You bitch. Ow. Get him. Oh, I hit the villager, didn't I? Whoops. My bad, guys. That was dumb of me. Oh crap. Well, the first time I died in the series. Sure that won't be the last. Anyway guys, that's me for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, you know, it's a nice little quick tutorial. Also give me some time to show you guys how to make tools and show you how I got the tools, not just you thinking I BS them. Anyway, so next video guys I'll probably be training with some villagers, you know. We'll just be going through some trading mechanics, you know, I'll probably be a shorter video, just so we can get some good trades going, maybe I get some diamonds, which would be really nice. And after that, guys, it's up to you. We like you to go to the Nether and get some nice um, tools. This is what I need to do is um to get some of the higher tier to get the four and five um tier um, metals. Is they're all in the Nether, so I gotta go there to get the higher tier stuff. But that's end game content, so I don't know if you guys want to see that next, or I could go exploring the, in the um video after that. So you guys let me know what you want to do. If you want me to explore the nether or explore the world, I am going to be eventually exploring the world. Um, that's something I will do. I don't think it's, if you don't vote, if I don't explore it at really soon, I'm not going to do it at all. Well, if I doubt it, they're scaring me. But, you know, so let me know what you guys want to see first, nether or go out and exploring the world. That's for this video, guys. It's done. So please comment and like.
But for now, this is Jack Thirteen. Goodbye. Not fine. Yes. Yes, we are going to lose.